Hap for Hap Around the House. I wanted to show you a pretty cool tool I picked up yet the other day. It is called an internal wrench kit. Basically what this will do is this will save your bacon if you snap off a fitting inside of like a water heater or anything else as a matter of fact. If you can get this into the hole, like if it's a pipe, you can turn it out. Let me show you kind of how it works. So this is a half inch one. It comes in three quarter, half inch, and three eighths. And it's on a cam. So what happens is as you turn this counterclockwise or clockwise, it'll grab the internal wall of whatever hole it's in and it'll help turn it out. So let's say if you got it like this, you turn counterclockwise like that, it locks in the other way, it locks in. You see how that works? Let me do it again. Like that, it locks in. Go the other way and it locks in. Just that easy. So you can tighten and you can loosen with these. And it's amazingly hard. This product, they harden this pretty hard. So even this upper shaft right here is hard. And this little gear that's on the eccentric, that is really hard. So you're more than likely, if you're going to break it off, if you use jarring force, you're probably going to break that shaft, I would think. So use nice, even force. Don't go hitting it with a hammer because it might break. You're not going to break this one. This is heavy. And these are fairly heavy tools. Again, it's Chinese. Uh, I can't swear to the quality. I've owned a lot of cobalt tools. So, you know, your guess is as good as mine. But I wanted to show you how it works. Now, I had a dip tube on a water heater, and to get it out, you had to put the pipe wrench on it because of the way that it's, it's, it's basically a close nipple. You put your pipe wrench on it to turn it out counterclockwise, and it crushes it. So you can see what happens. See that? Now, if I was to have this, I wouldn't have crushed it, providing that I'd get the little plastic sleeve out of the dip tube, you know. But that would have saved a lot of work if that would have broken off. So let's uh, put it over here. Let me move my camera. All right, this is a three-quarter. So we're going to thread it in. We're going to use the internal wrench to tighten it. Again, this is a three-quarter. So put it in. See how that locks? This takes a three-quarter inch wrench, and the half inch takes a five-eighths inch wrench. So let's see what happens here. Let's tighten it down nice and tight. What I wanted to do was show you that it does not deform your nipple. Nobody likes a deformed nipple. So I'm going to tighten that. That's tight. That's nice and tight right there. And when you go the opposite way, counterclockwise, it will break loose. Right there, it just broke loose. And then it locks in again. So let's turn that out. any tools that I use, I'll put an affiliate link to Amazon below. Please use it. Help support the channel. There, that's good. Now to get, now to take it out, we're going to have to go the opposite way to break that loose. I'll put the uh, pipe wrench on there and break it loose. And now what I wanted to show you is that it did not deform that nipple. There it is. I'll show both cameras because sometimes one doesn't pick it up. And of course, this is what would have happened if you use a pipe wrench. But any moron would have used, obviously. This isn't a close nipple, so you'd have used the blank area there. Put your wrench. But this is just an example. See how nice and round that still is? This is what happens when you put the pipe wrench on a close nipple again. You're going to put your pipe wrench right there so you don't wreck everything. But I'm pretty impressed with these tools, and if I have a an oopsie where something breaks off, these will definitely help me get that out. Save time, save money. So again, these are, I think they're 15, 20 bucks, something like that. If they work out really good. They seem to be fairly good quality. They're really hard. I mean, they, they spent some, some money hardening these things and used the steel that was correct to harden, probably tool steel. Pretty good product. This is Hap for Hap Around the House. If you like the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that like button that helps with the algorithms to get these videos out there. We will see you next time on Hap for Hap Around the House. Thanks for watching.